Being in a top class chef means being inventive while staying true to your passion. And Kevin Pillay fits this profile to perfection. He's come a long way since his childhood days when he helped out in his aunt's eatery, but he's kept in touch with his roots. Karusha met up with him to find out more about his recipe for life and success. Hi Kevin. Hi Karusha. Such a pleasure to meet Hi. you. <laughs> what do you have in store for me today? Lime and coriander marinated prawns grilled with saffron and fresh garden peas risotto. How do you manage to come up with all your food inspiration? I like to play around with new types of cuisine, but you want to keep it traditional where the locals enjoy it, at the same time giving experience to our international guests as well. Being an exec chef at any top restaurant is a dream job for many chefs. What would you say your role is in helping to encourage other chefs? I try to push them to be more creative and give them that opportunity to grow. Let's get started. We're going to start by adding a little bit of oil to our hot pot. Then we're going to add a little bit of onions. Half an onion should be fine. I add half a teaspoon of crushed garlic. Add a little bit of turmeric, just for a little bit of color. Then I'm going to add my risotto. Add some saffron, just a little bit, not a lot. I add a little bit of wine just to bring up all those flavors at the bottom. I'm using a prawn stock. If you want to do this in a vegetarian way, you can just substitute the prawn stock for some veg stock as well. Now I'm going to add my fresh peas, work that in. Add some butter, just a few knobs. Add a little bit of cream. This is just normal fresh cream. And then I'm just going to finish it off with some fresh herbs. So I'm using coriander. It looks delicious. I'm going to start seasoning my prawns. They are Argentinian prawns. This is just lemon and herb seasoning. Okay, so these are just normal d vein prawns and butterfly. Add them back into the bowl. And then I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Then I'm going to add a little bit of fresh coriander. Add some of my lemon zest and just some of my freshly squeezed lime juice, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to my pan, just to coat the bottom of that. And then to that, I'm gonna add my prawns to it. Ooh, that sizzle on the pan. Add some of our masala butter. This is a nice way to infuse a little bit of Indian into Italian, <laughs> just to bring out all the juices. Deglaze my pan with some white wine and let that prawns cook in there. You'll know with the prawns will change a little bit of color and then they start getting a little bit hard. They're done. So I'm just gonna add my risotto. Add my prawns on top of that. Got some microgreens for garnish. And that's it. Wow, that is so beautiful. Let's start with mains. So for our mains today, we're having Norwegian salmon, pan seared with jira infused crushed potatoes and baby spinach and roasted bell peppers curry sauce. And we'll start beginning with the fish. I'm gonna start seasoning it. Just a pinch of pepper. Followed with some salt. A little bit of lemon and herb seasoning. Just get that hot. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm putting it down flesh side down. This should take about 10 minutes, depending how you like your fish. So I'm just gonna turn this over. You can just see that crispiness of the skin. I add a little bit of butter to it. Just a few knobs. That's done. Take the fish out to rest. Using the same pan, I'm gonna be adding my onions. Just getting our onions nice and brown. Once my onions are brown, I'm gonna add my garlic, a little bit of ginger. Then this is our Kashmiri masala. Add some baby spinach. Just a little bit of salt to that. This is just roasted bell peppers over open flame, and then we just peel them and chop them. Since the peppers are already cooked, all we're doing is just bringing them up to heat, and just to infuse it with a little bit of that masala that we added on before. And then by that, we're gonna be adding our little bit of coconut cream. Now I'm going to start with my jira infused baby potatoes. Add some jira seeds just to toast them. Once that's toasted, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil, onions. These are boiled new potatoes. Just boil a little bit of turmeric. Once my potatoes are heated up through, add a little bit of water just to steam them up. Some butter as well. And then some coriander and some mint. And then slightly crush them. I want them to retain the heat. Just a lightly crush. Now that we're ready, we can assemble our dish. Now is to add my sauce. The reason why I'm adding my sauce now is because I like my fish skin to be crispy. And by adding my sauce on top of the fish, I'm going to lose that crispiness that I worked so hard for. Just a little bit of dill. This is just some grilled lamb, just for garnish, because we eat with our eyes. And just to finish off with some fresh microbes. And that's done. Simple, clean, beautiful. Today's dessert is a take on a classic. It's tiramisu with a fusion of Indian in it. We're substituting the coffee in the tiramisu for chai masala. 
Cool. Just got my pan hot, so I'm just going to add my dry spices with cinnamon sticks, some cardamom and some star anise. Add the milk. And then depending on you, how strong you like your cheese, so you'll add your tea bags in it too now. While this is heating up, I'm going to start with the filling for the tiramisu. This is just whipped cream with a little bit of sugar and some mascarpone cheese, a little bit of vanilla essence. And then this is just fresh whipped cream. And then some condensed milk. The condensed milk is just to sweeten it up. So you're going to start folding it in just to incorporate all the ingredients. Once it's finished fold, you're going to add it into a piping bag, which I already have. So we'll start now with the piping of the filling on my plate, followed by the dunking of my biscuits. And then I'm just going to go with another layer on top of that. And then we can finish it off with some roasted almond flakes, just to bring some texture to the dessert. Once that's done, we can finish off with cocoa. Kirsha, we are done now. Let's taste. Wow, Kevin, look at this. It's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers.